All right, so tomorrow is the Denver Repticon. I'm really excited about going. I will definitely be there with an eight foot table with about 70 ball python hatchlings. It should be a really good show. And in this video, I wanna show you pretty much my list, my, my gear that I bring to the show to, to make my life easier as a vendor. And I remember when I first started selling ball pythons at the shows, uh, you stand there for a couple days and you're like, man, I wish I would've brought this or this. And pretty soon you have a list of all these things. And after a few years, you accumulate a good amount of gear and equipment that you bring to the shows and if you're thinking about going to the shows and selling as a vendor you may want to have a list similar to this maybe you'll get some ideas as far as what you could bring to the shows and if you're coming to the show to buy one of my snakes I would highly recommend going VIP getting there at 9 o'clock uh, general admission is 10 but the VIPs get there about an hour early and I would say I sell probably most of my snakes snakes at the, the very first day pretty much from nine o'clock till noon as a matter of fact I could sell probably 20 snakes on that first day between opening and early afternoon it's pretty incredible and a lot of people come you know like noon or early afternoon expecting to buy one of my snakes and a lot of them are gone already so if you're looking if you have one in mind you might want to you know I've been showing a lot of my snakes on my YouTube videos and if you have your eye on one I would highly recommend going VIP Maybe Maybe get in front of the line. And the other thing I should tell you, this is actually over at the Arapahoe County Fairgrounds in here in Colorado. And the problem is with this specific location is that it can be really windy and a lot of times really cold. I haven't really looked at the weather to see what the temperature is going to be like or if it's going to be a nice day. But you probably want to bring a jacket if you're standing in line for the VIP. And if you're looking for my table, I'm pretty much right in the middle. I looked at the map, it was, I'm pretty much right dab, smack dab in the middle of the whole show. So pretty much just go right to the middle and you'll see me at my table. So I'm gonna jump over and show you some of my gear. All right, so here is a little corner of my basement. This is essentially where I keep all of my show equipment for the shows. And pretty much what I bring here, I bring the shelf. The funny thing is, is, is I started bringing the shelf and throwing it in my back, the back of my pickup in the snow and the rain. And I can't believe how rusty this thing's getting. I almost need to take it out and spray it now with some paint or something. And then I have the lights here for my display. I have another uh, proportional heater. I have an extra heater just in case for the heat strips underneath my cases and these are eight boxes of ARS cases. Let me tell you that is a lot of money right there tied up in display cases. Uh, the weight bar, I don't actually use it. I'm like right behind my weight bench here and I don't bring that to the show. I don't bring this yellow ca cap tote either. That is what I've been weighing Lucy in. Put her in there to weigh her. But these two boxes here are full of the gear that I really want to dig into and show you. And then this little enclosure up here is I kind of got this as a freebie when I bought a snake on Craigslist. It's really cool, and I actually bring it to the, a lot of the shows. I'll probably bring it to the show this time, and it's really, really, really nice, really nice acrylic cage here. And I'll probably, I'm thinking about selling my corn snake at the show. The corn snake was pretty cool, but I kind of want to free up the tub. I'm not really that much into corn snakes. I actually decided I don't think I'll breed my corn snakes, so I'm going to bring them to the show. And probably if I get adult ball pythons I'll put them in there and I'll probably figure out how to put a heat mat underneath put it on some kind of a heat controller and make sure that it has heat and then I, I actually used to have this little backpack that I put all my meals in I actually switched to just a regular cooler for all my meals and this 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 I don't bring to the show <laughs> I actually got this with one of my snakes and then these boards here this goes on the table underneath my displays and what this what these boards are this is where the lights clamp onto because if you put these ARS displays on an eight-foot table there's nowhere to clamp the lights and then I, I, I kind of made these little boards so you can clamp some lights on behind it so what I want to do is I want to pull these two totes down and I want to show you some of the miscellaneous gear that I bring to the shows 
All right, so I'm gonna show you my secret supplies that I bring to the reptile shows. And the first thing is this cute little, look at this, this is like a snake bed that I bring to the shows. They actually were selling these at one of the, the one of the vendors there was selling, pretty much it's all they sold. And I bought one of them to support them. And what I do is if I have some empty spots on my display, I'll put this on top of it and then put a snake in there. Usually it'll stay in there. And then people come up and say, oh, that's a really cool snake. And then it kind of encourages people to hold the snake. I thought it was kind of cool. I don't use it a whole lot, but if, my, if it starts slowing down and I want to encourage people to come over and hold the snakes and hang around for a while, I'll, I'll pull out my little snake bed. And the other thing is you definitely need a money belt. As a matter of fact, I wonder if I have any money in here. <laughs> I haven't even checked to see if there's any money. Oh, there is money from the last show. As a matter of fact, I might have to uh, empty that out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's actually money in my money belt. And then uh, definitely, <laughs> you definitely want a first aid kit. I have this in case someone takes a really nasty bite, especially if someone next to you has a really big snake. And pretty much with my little ball python hatchlings, you're not really going to need a first aid kit. But if someone next to me with like a retic or something, you know, you, <laughs> you want to help out the neighbor if they have a really bad bite. And then I have my square reader. This pops right into my phone, which is really cool. And then you can slide a credit card right through there. I can take credit cards if if you're interested, if you're wondering if I take credit cards, I definitely will be able to tomorrow. And then this is kind of neat. This is a little case that I kind of bring some of my uh, labels for my displays. So what I have is these are the ones that go on the bottom of my displays. Pretty much if the snake goes to the bathroom, I replace it with these. I have some big ones and I have some small ones. And then for a while I was actually doing some paper towel underneath to, for a little more uh, absorbency for you know cleaning up messes, but I don't really use the paper towels that much anymore. I pretty much just use these on the bottom of every little square in my display case. And that's what that is. And then this other kind of random stuff here, I have uh, some phone cords for my, co for my phone. I have some, boy, I just have a whole bunch of stuff in here. You definitely want some receipt books for people that want receipts. You want some uh, cough drops for people that are coughing around you. Uh, I always bring some, some uh, duct tape. So the duct tape, uh, I've used it a couple times. People have like retics escaping from their enclosure and uh, they've actually used it to tape their enclosures closed to keep wild snakes. And like if someone brings a snake in a tote, can't keep them in the tote and it keeps popping out, the duct tape's handy just kind of for my neighbors. And then I have a Sharpie to to mark the, the, the snakes on pretty much what I sell them in. And that is pretty much it. I got some, some Band-Aids. Kind of random stuff. It's just kind of random stuff. I definitely need to go through and clean up this stuff. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. And then what I like to do is I like to bring a USB charge. Last, the last show, I bought uh, one of those little wireless chargers you can put a phone on and I plugged it into my power strip with the cord. And people loved it. They came by and their phone was dead and they put it right on the charger and kind of hung around my table while their phone charged. That was pretty neat. So let me show you this other tote. All right, so here is the second tote, and it's pretty much the first thing you need. A lot of these shows, you need to bring your own tablecloth. This is actually like a really nice fitted one. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna throw this in the wash tonight before the show and kind of try to get the wrinkles out. It's really wrinkled, but it's, it's, I get these, I think I got this on Amazon. It's, it's It has the seam sewed and just fits right over the table like a glove. It is really awesome definitely need a tablecloth in most cases you definitely need a black one so what i actually do is underneath my displays i'm running this heat tape i bought this heat tape three layers of heat tape that i bought from reptile basics i run it over under the three levels under my displays and then i hook it up to a heat controller my heat controller is in the other room and then i hook it up to these power strips and then pr pretty much plug 
the power strips into the um, the heat controller to control the heat. It's pretty much set at 90 degrees, so all my snakes in the display are sitting at 90 degrees, which is kind of cool. And then I have extra miscellaneous power strips in case I need to, you know, get a little bit further from the table to get to the electricity. And for people that want to come over and plug into my electric and run extension cords, I usually have lots of extension cords. I have a whole bunch of keys because all my displays lock. These are locking keys. You definitely want hand sanitizer. Everybody asks for hand sanitizer. Let me tell you, you need big bottles of it. And then I have plexiglass cleaner and some plexiglass cloths to clean my displays. And then I have little tiny bottles of hand sanitizer I kind of put on the table. So, And then I just use the big one to refill it so people aren't kind of messing around with the big one. And then well, one thing you definitely want to bring that I don't have in here is a trash bag. I keep forgetting the trash bag every year and then it's like, man, that's, <laughs> what do I do with all my trash? And then let's see, what else do I have? I have a towel. The towel is good. Like if you spill something, uh, it's, it's, you never know when you're going to need a towel. <laughs> Not many people actually bring a towel. If you, if you spill something, like on the floor, if you knock your pop over something, you definitely want a towel. Or if someone gets bit, you can put it on there. I don't ever see that happen you know a really bad bite and then I have a little tape I've never really used my tape another thing that I really like to bring to these shows is business cards so these cards when you when you it's, it really depends what you're doing at the shows but you can hand out business cards the cards that I hand out are essentially cards that go to my YouTube channel so this actually has my link right here my YouTube link and then if you scan this with the key, QR reader it goes right to my YouTube channel and I'm pretty much uh, I guess I guess you would consider me a youtuber dabbling in snakes instead of a snake breeder dabbling in YouTube like most other snake breeders I pretty much do both but I'd say my main focus is really YouTube and then another thing you really want to uh, do is especially if you have bigger snakes you want to use snake bags to sell your snakes in and that is pretty much it for this and then another thing is another thing you need is the scissors you definitely want a scissors uh, just kind of have it handy and then a label maker they definitely want a label maker I label everything with a label maker on my display I, and I need to throw that in here so I don't forget it. a label maker and a trash bag <laughs> I need to throw that in because uh, if I decide to change the price or put sold on my displays I use the label maker to do that all right, so another thing I'm going to bring to the show, that is a cooler. And as a matter of fact, I use a Yeti 65, a really nice cooler. And the, the good thing about this cooler is you can throw it. As a matter of fact, I have a freezer that this will fit in. I can throw it in the freezer. It'll chill it really cold, and it'll hold the temperature really cold for the full two days. I won't have to bring any ice. I won't have to add any ice. It's really nice to have a really nice Yeti. And inside the cooler, this is pretty much what I bring. I bring seven several different types of drink. I like just a regular Coke. You can kind of see what I use in my Yeti. And then I use some water. I use like an Aquafina. It fits right under there. And then I bring some Gatorade. <laughs> now you know what is my preferred drink. And then what I like to do is I like to bring a salad. So salad's kind of tricky because you actually have to get some time to sit down and eat it. And let me tell you, in a reptile show, there's almost no time I bring a salad for me and a salad for my helper and then another thing I like is I like to bring some crackers usually like a Triscuit and maybe like uh, cracked pepper wheat thins <laughs> you can see all my stuff here and then I bring oh, yeah, another thing you want to bring if you bring salads you definitely want some kind of a fork or something I like to bring the plastic because there's a lot of people around me that brought salads and they forgot their fork and I like to kind of hand out the forks which is kind of funny so pretty much the main staple at the shows you're always pretty much standing there talking to people that is going to be like these candy bars something like this like a power bar or a candy bar the other thing i really like to bring is something like this like a dry salami it makes a really good snack and what i usually do is i put something like i put that in some of these slider like quarts or gallons and pretty much take like all the crackers out and put them in gallon or quart jars and then pretty much use it out of the baggies instead of trying to dig in there 
Things are really fast and furious at the shows. I like to bring some summer sausage, slice it up into little bits, you know, little slices, and then put the slices in a baggie. Another thing I really like is something like uh, Parmesan cheese aged for two years from Italy. Something really nice. That, you know, you chop it up, put it with the, the sausage. It is fantastic. Another thing I like, this is just kind of what I bring to the shows, I like easy cheese on the crackers. I like to bring the easy cheese. And that is pretty much it. It pretty much fills my whole entire cooler and I'm ready for the show. All right, so it is time for the question of the day. And Calamity Natalie asks, after you purchase your snakes, what do you put them in to transport them home? And that is a very good question. As a matter of fact, when I first started selling snakes, I was like, all right, I want to sell some snakes at the shows, but I don't know what to put them in. You don't really want to just hand someone a snake and have them put it in their pocket or sit it on their lap. You really want to put it in something so they can control that snake so it's not crawling all over. So the first experience is a really good one with that snake. And what I use for my ball python hatchlings, I use these little deli cups. I actually buy this from, I think it's Superior Shipping Supply. I buy them by the case, by hundreds at a time. And I think they're about a dollar a piece to buy them. They have little holes in the side so the snakes can breathe. And the, the, the lids are extra. You have to buy the lids with the deli cups. And then I put a little bit of paper towel in the bottom. So if the snake goes to the bathroom, you can swap it out really easy. Some people use like an aspen chip or something like that in the bottom. I like the paper towels because it's really easy and simple to swap it out. And if you have a bigger snake, like a yearling ball python or an adult, you definitely need a snake bag. And I don't sell a whole lot of adults or yearlings. I say I buy some of those bags online, but I'd say probably most of the bags that I use for my snakes, I actually buy them at the reptile shows from other vendors, kind of helping each other out. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.